Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the scent sensitivity video saga, whatever you want to call it. So today's video is going to be about what helps, what has worked for me, and I'm going to show you products that I use and that I actually love. My personal recommendations to you. So I'm going to share that with you all today. And I want to say if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below of any of the products. Maybe you like some of the ones that I use, maybe you don't like them. Um, others that I have not mentioned because I'm sure there's tons of stuff out there that I haven't tried yet that might actually work for me. So leave your recommendations in the comment box down below. Welcome again and let's get right into it. So let's talk about what actually helps me to cope with my sensitivity to scents because honestly, there's I don't feel like there's a whole lot um, that will work besides the obvious of not using products that are triggering my sensitivity to scent. So that is gonna be my number one, um, I guess, recommendation for what has helped me is just try to stay away from products that does trigger this for you. Stay away from like really scented, really strong, scented products that you know even though it smells amazing it's gonna trigger your headaches your symptoms whatever it is that you experience to this um, topic so for me it's just using less maybe there is something that i really love and i just don't want to give it up i will use like minimal 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 amounts of it because i do not want to suffer all day even though we love it suffering for me is kind of like i would rather not suffer and just give it up <laughs> so there honestly there hasn't been anything that i've kept um i just if it doesn't work i kind of just don't mess with it because i just want to feel good i don't want to feel horrible all day another thing that works for me is just popping a advil tylenol any of these um you know over-the-counter medication that will help with headaches that works, although I know that's probably not the best recommendation because we know that those can be damaging if you're taking them all the time. So if you're using something every day, like a perfume, you don't want to take an Advil or a Tylenol every single day. So you kind of have to like figure that out. But I, that is something like if it's really, really bad, I just cannot like help it, then I might have to because I don't want to suffer. But it really is up to you and what you decide to do. I'm not recommending that. But I will say that if my headache's really bad, I will take a Tylenol and that does help me. So that is one, my personal um, thing that I do. And then the next main thing that I can recommend is just let the people around you know. I know in the comments there has been people who've gotten pushback from family, people who don't, family says that your friends don't understand um, the dilemma. But it really is an issue and so for me I personally just let the people around me know like if I'm you know talking to someone I let them know you know if their cologne is too strong hey um, which usually I find that men's cologne isn't really a trigger for me I don't know it's really weird like I have been able to be around like guy friends and never had to say hey your cologne's too strong which is interesting i don't know if it's maybe because their um colognes are not as potent with like flowery you know flowery flowery um types of scents i don't know i guess they're more of like a musky scent so i tend to find that perfumes that have musk musky scents in them is usually better it works better but <laughs> yeah usually with guys like i don't have an issue but if like around my family, like my mom, like, hey, please don't wear that perfume. Or she knows like, okay, I can't use my hand sanitizer if I'm in the car with you. Or I can't put this lotion on if I'm in the car with you. Like she'll say that to me. So I just let my family know. I let my friends know. If I'm going to visit people, I let them know. I had a friend that I went to spend the weekend with. And I literally had to tell her, please turn off all your candles. Plug out all your wallflower thingies that you have. Because it just... I, I will die. I will literally die. <laughs> Not exaggerating. Okay, maybe I am, but I have to just tell them because I just can't. I know that can probably be really hard when your friends or family don't understand. They push back. It is it is difficult. But yes, just make the people around you aware. And that really is my recommendation is use less or stop using something that's going to trigger you. Let the people around you know and 
if it's a worst case scenario and you're really suffering for the day, take an Advil or a Tylenol. I think Tylenol is the better of everything. And that really is that there isn't much that I have found. I don't know, like, you know, like with allergies, you can take an allergy shot or allergy medication. But with this, it's really not something that most people talk about. So I don't even know if there's other solutions. If you guys have any other suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. We can all help each other here. All right, so I literally have this little bin here of just a variety of different things that I'm just gonna show you guys. And I don't know if it'll be in order because I just kind of dumped everything in here. But I just wanna show you guys some of the things that I use, have used, have finished. They're like empties, kind of like an empties video-ish type. <laughs> but these are the things that I find um, I can actually work with and I actually like. So in no particular order, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I told you guys in the first video about um, oil diffusers. This one here is from the brand Young Living. This, I believe this was like over $80. I remember it being kind of pricey. It might be over $100. I do not remember, but if I can find a link, I will link it down below. But it does have a good amount of product in it. That's just like the first case and it's like this. You open it up. It has like a little pamphlet of different things. I have actually not opened this in quite a while. I don't even remember what these things are. I guess these are some sample oils and they're like, you can, I guess if you want to take it around, it brought little bottles that you can put some in. Um, an information contact card. And then here are the oil. You can actually keep this out. It has like these little, like a picture frame where you can just set it out and have it. It has 10 different oils. Um, they are for different things. So we've got frankincense, pen away lavender, purification lemon, stress away. But some of them are more therapeutic oils. Some of them are good to actually ingest. Um, some of them are just for scent. Some is for stress relieving. So you can actually consume some i think believe the ones in the white bottles are the ones that you can actually consume so there's a whole instruction there's books and everything that comes with the instructions on how you can use these different oils but i usually like to take the lavender oil and put that for um in a diffuser to you know kind of make the house smell good i do like the purification one as well and the frankincense so this is the one that i would recommend using this is the one i, love. I have never tried you know from i know if you go to like tj maxx they sell sometimes essential oils. I have never used it because I have this one and I'm gonna make sure I use this because I spent a pretty penny for it. <laughs> so this would be one of my recommendations if you are trying out diffusers or you wanna get into essential oils, I do like this brand. So far the only wall plug-in type of um, product that I have bought and love is from Glade. It's this one here. This is the Sheer Vanilla Embrace. This is created with notes of creamy vanilla and white orchid. I know that can probably sound really strong, but this I love because it is sheer, so it's not heavily scented. And I have been able to leave it in my bathroom, here in my beauty room, and it doesn't affect me. This has been the only one that I found so far. And I from Glade, this is the only sheer scent that I have found. If there is more and you know more, leave it in the comments below. I don't know of any other ones. And I do like this particular um, style. I don't have the, I should have brought it out. But the little wall plug-in actually has a little turn nodule where you can, you can adjust it to how much scent you want it to um, release so there is like a very very mild and then there's like if you need more i don't know how that actually works but it has that feature which i do love and i usually keep it on the very very first little notch because i don't want it to be too overwhelming because i i just i'm scared to try that <laughs> but i just keep it on the first one and it works you still get that little you know whiff of the scent but it's not strong it's sheer and i love it i know we didn't talk really much about different types of cleaning products but this here is the pledge clean it it is in the lemon scent i bought this specifically because it's dust and allergen multi-surface cleaner for those of you who suffer with allergies you know dust is like a main thing so i bought this one because it's dust and allergen related and it does have a lemon scent it is 
a little bit strong but i feel like the scent doesn't last too too long so i have been able to use it and clean and dust and it's there you'll smell it as you're doing it but it doesn't linger forever so this for me has worked i'm gonna keep this bin here so i can actually get into it now hand soaps these are some of the ones that i have found and loved and they don't last with this like strong scent the original ones i feel like just ugh. They just caught the minute I walk into the bathroom I smell it I'm just like done with the headache it's just yeah <laughs> but these ones I have been loving this is from the white barn collection this one is champagne toast on the bottle it describes the scent as bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine it says it's made with vitamin E shea extract aloe and essential oil so I just feel like because of these ingredients, it doesn't make the strength so strong and I'm able to actually use it. So I really love the champagne toast. I liked this one. This one is kitchen lemon. This was a really good one. Um, you have that lemony scent, but it's not like overwhelming. So I did like this one. Um, I use it all in my bathroom, so you can use it in your kitchen or whatever and this one i've been loving it's almost out and i actually think i want to go get another one this is rose and ivy water or rose and wa rose water and ivy and it's so pretty and it's pink which i love <laughs> so this one i'm using currently then i do want to mention this um this is a texturizing spray and i have not decided if i absolutely love it i I'm leaning on the not so much loving it. Um, this is from Sexy Hair. It is a texturizing hair uh, product and it is coconut scented, which I did not realize when I pur purchased it. And I'm not huge with texturizing spray. I feel like it just weighs my hair down. It doesn't really give me any volume. It just kind of weighs it down. So maybe I, I'm not using it right, but you want to consider your texturizing sprays your dry shampoos i told you guys the baptiste one is kind of like eh, i'm not really too crazy about it going back to hands this is my favorite hand lotion this is from keels it's the ultimate strength hands self yes it is for if you have really dry hands and i keep one at work i just like as soon as i wash my hands from the bathroom and come back i just put some on because my hands are so dry my whole body is so dry honestly it's unscented it has a little bit of a scent but it's not even like a i wouldn't consider it scented it's just i guess whatever combination of what's in this product but it actually it's so good i feel like it doesn't leave my hands sticky and it doesn't smell, it doesn't give me a headache, and I love it. The next lotion that I love is Lubiderm because, again, I don't like things that are super sticky. I know it's kind of like getting off the point that we're talking about, but this one is unscented. It is moisturizing, so great, highly recommend. This here is the deodorant brand that I love. It's from Secret. It's the Clinical Strength. Um, I am in between like the soft solids and like the actual solids. Right now I'm using the soft solid but they have the free and sensitive because it is free of scents and if you have sensitive skin I don't really but I just find that I like this one better. But it's unscented and it works really great. I absolutely love it. It doesn't leave um, depending on if you leave a whole pile on your arm like with these ones you have to really rub it in i usually rub it in until you don't see the deodorant anymore because then you'll definitely get it on your clothes but i kind of like these because they last long and they don't leave um, so much of a residue and they don't have a scent so i highly recommend these moving on to the face this is the clinique smart custom repair eye treatment i use this one for like under the eyes and it didn't have a scent so i really like that i also would recommend the olay complete um, normal day moisturizer these ones i feel um, are very light and they don't have a scent so it actually works and my favorite moisturizer of all time is the kiehl's ultra facial cream moisturizer this I will live by this for the rest of my life because I absolutely love it. I've been using it for years. It's the only thing that actually hydrates my face. Absolutely love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Try it. You'll love it. Another product that I tried thanks to my, I think from FabFitFun, it's this Pure 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. Um, it's just like a little deluxe sample size. I really, really love this product. It really hydrated. It just 
It felt so good on the skin. It is unscented. It's a gel to water um, moisturizer. One of like the best little deluxe sample that I've ever used. I use every single bit of it, but this was a really good one, zero cent. This next one, I wasn't super into when I first got it, but after a while, I was like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? It's a really great serum. I feel like it helped just keep, I don't know. I'm not so educated in skincare products, but this was a serum that I actually liked and I felt like it helped maintain my skin to be clear as far as like pimples and things. Lately, I feel I've been getting a bunch of them. But before, I feel like once I was using this product, probably the combination of different products I was using, this one was good. But this one has a tiny little scent, but it doesn't linger and did not cause a headache for me. And I absolutely love it. This is from Dr. Dennis Gr Gross. It's the Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. And then I want to quickly share some perfumes. I think... Um, about two of them I shared in my first video. The first video I did about this topic, I talked about Chanel Chance, and this is in the uh, Tendre. This is the pink one or purple, whichever we're going to call it. I think it's pink. And then the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. These were two that I recommended in my video. Absolutely love them. They don't give me headaches. I can wear them all day, every day love it i would highly recommend these two and the two newest one that i have been using um it's the armani c in passionate it's the red bottle i absolutely love this at first you would think oh my gosh that is going to give me a headache but i have not experienced a headache when i've used this item now i don't drench myself in it i just do like maybe one or two sprays um well, obviously one spray, <laughs> but maybe two sprays. But I found that it has not caused any headaches for me when I do use it. And as far as makeup go, um, you also want to consider like foundation. Sometimes they can be scented, especially the high-end ones. But I found like this one from Chanel is not strong. It has a very tiny little scent like most Chanel products do, but this one is not strong at all. I actually really, really, really love it. And then my classic from Maybelline, the Fit Me one, it's unscented, so good. And then the Dior Forever Undercover, I absolutely love, it's not scented. It has, again, that tiny little fragrance because it's higher end, but it's not too strong. So think about maybe your foundation. I, I know I told you guys, you know, makeup can also be something that may be triggering it. Sometimes foundations can be scented when they're higher end, but these ones I have been using over and over and I absolutely love them. So these are just some of the products that I've used and I've saved some bottles to show you guys. Um, but this is what I recommend so far. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations on any products that you love that works for you, please leave it in the comments down below. Let's share what works for us so we can all experience more things that we have not been able to try. It is, I feel like, not a lot of us out there who are aware about this and have much variety so the more we get to come together and share what we love we can all try out more things and see what actually works for us but i hope this video today was helpful for you guys hopefully gave you some ideas but hopefully you know being able to change the products we use use less of things will be helpful and then just letting people around you know that's honestly i think the best that you can do i feel like that might be one of the most helpful things even if they don't understand you just have to really let them know and it took a while like sometimes my mom will forget and she'll wear like she'll be in the car with me and she'll be putting on lotion and i'm like mom you're about to kill me literally <laughs> so maybe opening the windows when you're driving for a little bit let that scent come out um but yeah, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If there's anything else you guys want to talk about on this topic, let me know. So far, that's what I thought about. I'm just sharing with you guys what works for me and things to consider and what I recommend. But if there's more we need to talk about, let me know. Share your symptoms and then maybe next time we can do a video on symptoms of this issue that we're having. But I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to all of those of you who are new here to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I will talk to you later.